All right, Abby. So let's start with the interview. Why don't you tell me something about yourself? Hi, I'm Abby. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. Basically, I'm from Lucknow. My father works in railway. My mother is a housewife. I have two brothers, one sister. I have done my schooling from RLB Senior Secondary School with distinction in 10th and 12th exam. No, no, no. If you're thinking to answer like this in your interview, then this video is for you. See, there's nothing wrong with this answer, but it's plain and boring. You know, tell me about yourself is an easy question, but it's a trick question as well. Because this is your first chance to make an impression on your interviewer. So you have to make sure that you put in your best efforts to answer this question right. The biggest confusion is what does the interviewer want to know exactly? He already has your CV. So should you talk about your professional history or your qualification? Your hobbies, your interests or your personality? What about your achievements? See, whether you are a fresher or a candidate with a decade of experience, there are two key points that the interviewer wants to know through your answer. The first one is, what values you bring to the company? So take this question as an opportunity to communicate why you have the right qualification or the right experience for this job profile. And the second key point is, what qualities set you apart from the rest of the candidates? Do you have the right skills and the right attitude to fit well in the organization? So. Take some time to figure out how you can tell a compelling story which makes it crystal clear why you are interested in this job and what values you bring to the company. So now let's craft an answer using the three-step elevator pitch formula. Starting with our first point, who are you? So you can start your pitch by sharing an approximate 30 second review of your career history focusing on who you are. You can start with your name, your professional background or your qualification and just add an adjective describing the core skills that fits the job. Suppose if you're applying for sales, you can say I'm a people person or if you're applying for marketing, you can say I'm creative. For example, hi, I am Vani and I'm a passionate software engineer and I've graduated from ABC college with a degree in electronics and communication and I've worked with X company for three years as a junior software engineer and I have a good command over HTML, CSS, jQuery and JavaScript. And if you are a fresher, then you can say, hi, I am Vani and I'm a software engineer with a certification in Java or I'm a commerce graduate with the highest ranking in my university and I'm currently pursuing a diploma in project management. Your introduction will be followed by the second step, your accomplishments with your expertise. So when you talk about your expertise, support your answer with the strongest example because this is the time when you can set yourself apart from the rest of the candidates. So try to align your accomplishments with facts and numbers so that you don't sound entitled or braggy. For example, when I was working with company X, I led a project for moving all operations data to a new data warehousing system to cut down the cost. And this new solution was a much better fit for our company, which eventually led to a saving of about half a million dollar per annum. And another example could also be that I've spent the last six years developing my skills as a customer service manager for company X and I have won several awards for my performance and I have been promoted twice in a year. And I love managing my teams and solving customer problems. If you're a fresher, then you can talk about your internship or maybe some projects that you carried out. For example, in my college days, I majorly worked on Android app development and I have created several apps which are available on GitHub. I was also awarded a certificate for innovation for all the projects that I took. The third and the final section of your pitch will include why are you interested in working with this company? So at this point, you simply have to give a reason. Why do you want this job? And when you answer this question, just be specific what skills you have learned from your previous company along with the reason why you have applied for this particular one. For example, in those five years, I have honed my analytical skills and learned to work together as a team. I have worked on several successful projects and also got an opportunity to lead some of them. And now I wish to continue to specialize in the same job role. And I am aware that your firm is the best place where I will be able to prove myself. If you are a fresher, then you can say, 
I believe that working in all those projects gave me an overall experience in the field of app development. And I am looking forward to join your organization because I know that your company specializes in app development and it will be a great opportunity for me. So this is a simple three-step formula that you can use to frame your own answer. And remember, it is just a formula. You still have to apply this to your skill set and your job profile and draft a response that fits the company that you're applying for. And once when you have drafted your response, practice speaking it naturally so that during your interview, you don't sound like you have mucked up the answer. And if you want, you can also practice your interview questions with me and many other experts at Ingvarta. Just download the application and select your learning goal as preparing for interview. And then the app will give you an interview topic each day. You just have to prepare yourself on that topic and call the expert. Now during the session, the expert will help you to refine your answer for that question. Usually in these sessions, I conduct a role play activity with my students where I give them an interview simulation which helps in boosting their confidence a lot for the real interview. So to learn top 5 things that you should never say during a job interview, watch this video. And if you want to improve your spoken English for your next interview, just watch this one. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And if you did, then give it a thumbs up. Well, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye and take care.